and hello everyone welcome back to another Pascal tutorial so in this tutorial we'll be taking a look at case statements they're very similar to if statements so if you have not seen that tutorial I actually recommend you do I'm going to create two variables num which is an integer and letter which is a character now a character is basically a string, but it's only allowed to be one character. So where a string is allowed to be something like this, a character is only allowed to be that. So one character. Cool. Now let's say num becomes, oh, becomes 10. And let's say letter becomes set. Now a case statement, as I said, is very similar to an if statement. So we can say case num. So we're checking the number here, but instead of putting our conditions here, we say of, and of course we need an end here. Now we're saying if the number is the value 10, then, and here we can either put a begin and end to put a block quote here. So begin right line, I am epic. I mean, I write another line. I am very epic. And we can say end. This is perfectly valid. Take note of the semicolons. But you could also do something such as, let's say we say 20. Then here we can just say right line. Num is 20. As simple as that. So you don't need to do a block quote or a block statement, but you can if you want to, depending on what you want to do. If you just want to do one thing, then one thing is all you need. If you want to do a few extra things, then a block scope is what you need. You also check for multiple. So let's say 100, 45, 201. These values you all want to check. Go right line, right line, num is 45, 100 or 201 and then also you can check in a range for example 1000 to 2000 right line num is very big this is a case statement so it's very very similar to an if statement however some do prefer it over an if statement but now if we do this we say, I am epic, I am very epic, because num is 10. If we say num is 1004, it will say num is very big, because it's between 1000 and 2000. If we say num is 201, we'll get num is 45, 100, or 201. What if we were to say, if num is 32, it will not execute. So it will not choose any of these because num does not fit in there. However, we can say else. So if it doesn't match any of these, we gave given it, we can just say begin, end, and then right line number is not one of the allowed cases. Okay, now if we try and run it, we get number is not one of the allowed cases. But if we make it something such as 10 again, we get I'm a big, very big. And you can do the same thing for stuff such as letters. So now we can go letter here. And now we could do something such as if letter is between A and capital letter Z, then right line capital letter. Or if A is lower case A or letter is lower case A to lower case Z, we can then start begin and end statement and say, right line a uh, letter is lower case and here we could do another case statement inside of this case statement so case num of 1 to 10 for example right line and num is between 1 and 10 hooray and of course we can just end here and here you can say invalid letter Let's see, does this run? Letter is a lowercase and num is between 1 and 10. Cool. If we were to make this letter here a cap capital case E, it will give us capital letter. If we were to make this a semicolon, 
will get invalid later. If we were to make this a lowercase s, but change number to be 12, we'll just get letters lowercase. So it's very similar to an if statement. You can see this of just of how it's structured, but it's also just as powerful as an if statement. Thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you all again in the next Pascal tutorial.